just before, yeah, just have to read out the objective. It's the same. It's the same. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry. Sorry. I, don't have to I am supposed to see your title, though, aren't I? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Linux, a brief introduction with Brandon. I, on a daily basis, work to improve the largest and most ever expensive software project on this earth. In this project, there are 22 million lines of code, and 4,600 are added every day. This project, well, Toastmasters, most welcome guest, was started by one man, much like Toastmasters itself. This man's name, Linus Torvald. And the project, Linux. See, Linux, uh, actually, you know what? Who here knows about Linux or has heard of it? Oh, more than I expected, actually. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, Linux is an operating system just like Windows or Mac. The third option, obviously, being Linux. It can do anything you want it to. You can make it look however you want. These are just a few examples of the, of the nice ways you can configure how it looks. You can also configure it to do anything you want. Some of you probably hear uh, edit photos. Well, you've got Krita, a Linux alternative to Photoshop. Or some of you are probably in accounting, and you're writing up the latest financial report. Well, you've got LibreOffice Calc, which does everything Excel does, and more. I mean, even YouTubers use it. <laughs> some, of, some of the YouTubers I know use Kden Live, a Linux video editing, editing software, and they get thousands upon thousands of views. <clears throat> yeah, but, I mean, Windows and Mac can already do that. Yes, you're right. But Windows is spying on you. Hold your horses. Microsoft knows what you're doing on your computer. You visit a website, download a picture, they know. Yeah, but I use Mac. I'm fine, Apple's not spying on me. Yeah, but you're paying way too much. <laughs> And also, it's outdated. Mac is outdated. The, the hardware is just far behind. So for a student like me, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't line up with my financial goals. And that's where I get to the best part. Linux is free. Yep, my wallet is nice and full. I'm using Linux myself. My wallet's nice and full. You're not shelling out $100 for your operating system. You're not shelling out $100 for your office suite. You're not shelling out $100 for Photoshop, which you probably only use like maybe once a year. No. You're paying $0 for Ubuntu, your operating system. You're paying $0 for LibreOffice, your office suite. And you're paying $0 for Krita, the Linux Photoshop alternative. Yes, your Linux keeps your wallet heavy. And it doesn't spy on you. No, there's no guy looking at, at what you're doing on your computer. Nobody knows what you're doing. How do I know this? Because I can look at the code. I know what's there. I can analyze it. Anybody can. You can, you can, you can. Anybody can see it. So Linux keeps your information private and your computer secure. Now that you know what Linux can do for you, let's just have a little bit of a history list. Back before Linux began, not all software worked with all hardware. And this guy, Linus Torvalds, that I mentioned at the beginning, he just bought a brand new processor. But the software at the time didn't support the features that this thing had. So what did he do? He wrote his own software. But why didn't he just take what was already there and just modify it? Well, in software, there's such thing as licensing, which prevents you from modifying and redistributing the code. 
So again, he wrote his own software, and thus Linux was born. Today, more than 13,000 developers from more than 1,300 companies have contributed to the Linux project. And what's that look like in the real world? Well, 79% of all the world's servers are running Linux. That's right. Netflix, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook even, is using Linux to power their infrastructure. All these developers that contribute to Linux are contributing to one goal, to solve the world's hardest technology problems. So today I have just, I've just touched the surface of Linux. Honestly, there's so much more. And I encourage you all to go out, learn about Linux. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Learn about Linux and maybe even try it for yourselves. Because sometimes you don't, you don't even realize it, but it's all around you. Sometimes, right under your nose. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster.